Listen, Doc, is there any way you can have this thing on my neck removed? Well, Mr. Griffin, your organs and his are intertwined. That would be a highly dangerous procedure. You could die. On the other hand, if you live, I'll let you pick any prize off that shelf. Even the tiny pinball machine? Oh, that, that shouldn't have been up there. Look, Doc, you gotta do the procedure, all right? I, I don't care if I die. I mean, maybe in my next life I'll come back as an airbag or something. Nurse, have somebody fix that clock. It's very distracting. All right, let's get this started. All right, halfway done. Time for a break. Uh, Dr. Hartman, is everything all right with my dad? Griffins, I'm afraid we lost him. What? Oh, my God! Hey, guys! Oh, there he is. It worked! I'm free at last! But what about Chip? Where's Chip? Hey, everybody! Look who's walking! Chip! Oh, Chip, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, and I'm okay, too. So, uh, you know, Chip, now that you're a free man, this is a chance for you to go out and make a real life for yourself someplace. I'll tell you what, any way you want to go, I'll FedEx you. What are you talking about, Peter? Chip is part of our family. He's staying with us. What? Yay! Yay! Awesome! Hey, hey, Dad? Yeah, I'm done. Can you pick me up? Oh, that's okay. I have a book. Oh, hey, Peter. Lois, where's your couch? Chip redecorated the room to improve the feng shui. He said our old furniture was blocking the flow of energy. I had my life's fart savings in that couch. And where are the drapes? Chip took them to make play clothes for the children. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Peter, you're home. Hi, Dad. Hi, Daddy. We dug a lake for this. Whoa! Come out of that water at once. Gosh, isn't Chip wonderful? Oh, he's not wonderful, Lois. He's annoying. I don't get why everyone's so in love with that guy. What's so great about him? Well, to be honest, the same thing that used to be so great about you. What? What are you talking about? Just that when you were younger, you were as passionate and full of life as him. Hey, boys! Catch me if you can! Oh, crap! I didn't realize they had bikes. <laughs> what are they gonna do when they catch me? Oh, boy, I got a back-of-the-head punch coming. I just know it. It seems today that all you see... What the hell? ...violence in movies and sex on TV. But where are those good old-fashioned values? I wish we used, used to rely. What the... What the hell is going on here? You singing our song without me? Oh, sorry, Peter. We couldn't find you. Do you want to sing your part, Peter? Go ahead. But where are the fashion? Good fashion. I don't want to. <laughs> I tell you, Chip is making my life a living hell, you guys. R remind me again, Chip is that African kid you adopted? No, that was chocolate chip. We gave him back to Kenya. But I can't take it anymore. I gotta get rid of him. Well, what are you gonna do? I don't know yet, but I'll come up with something. After all, I'm the guy who invented choose your own adventure or have pie in bed. I picked the pie again. Hey, welcome back to the Mikey Tony Magnanimous Hour, where real people get magnanimous about real things. This week's real thing, Hey, Native Americans, if I saw you on the street begging, I'd throw a buck in your moccasin. Next week's magnanimous thing, I'm wearing this yellow bracelet. You're welcome. Peter, what the hell is that thing? It's a dingo. I named him Bingo. If you can't have fun with that, you're crazy. Hey, Peter. What's that? Oh, he's going to turn you into a pile on Joe's lawn. What? Here, let's play steak catch. Oh, boy. Oh, cool. Stay catch. I'm going to use my one stake in the pants timeout. Ah, no! Not me! Not me! Attack him! Ah! 
Hey, um, it's 3 p.m. Should I give up on breakfast? Ah, Brian! Browser history! Clear it! Peter, that dingo was meant to eat me, wasn't it? Why would you do that? Because my life was fine before you showed up. My family liked me, and, and I didn't feel bad about not ever doing new stuff. Well, I never asked to grow out of your neck. My life was better before I met you, too. You're a terrible brother, husband, and father. I'm out of here, and you can go to hell. Wow, what a nice day out. Look, a rainbow. I did it. He's gone. Just as easy as the creation of techno music. Wait a minute, what key are we in? No, 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 none of that. Oh, hey, Peter. Where's Chip? I haven't seen him all day. He likes to yell out, good luck, after they read each lottery number. He's gone. I threw him out. You what? No! Peter, how could you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are y'all coming down on me for? Meg throws away people who come out of a body all the time. Nobody says nothing. Peter, Chip was a part of our family. And he's so little. He can get hurt out there on his own. We gotta go find him. We should look for him in the ball pit at McDonald's. You can just leave me there. I'll conduct the search. Meg's right. Come on, kids. Let's go find Chip and bring him back. You guys do whatever you want. I got stuff to do anyway. I gotta get ready for my bar mitzvah. Baruch Atad and I, I want fancy things like my friend Ephraim.